orcas, killer whales that kill the great white sharks. Orcas, or killer whales, are the largest of the dolphins and one of the world's most powerful predators. Orcas are often called killer whales, even though they almost never attack humans. In fact, the killer whale name was originally whale killer, as ancient sailors saw them hunting in groups to take down large whales. Smart and social, orcas make a wide variety of communicative sounds, and each pod has distinctive noises that its members will recognize even at a distance. They use echolocation to communicate and hunt, making sounds that travel underwater until they encounter objects, then bounce back, revealing their location, size, and shape. Males are bigger than females, but they vary in size and weight depending on the type of orca. The largest orca ever recorded was a staggering 32 feet, 9.8 meters long, and weighed 22,000 pounds, 10,000 kilograms. Orcas are known for their long dorsal fin, the fin on the animal's back, and black and white coloring. The black and white coloring helps to camouflage them by obscuring their outline in the water. Just behind the dorsal fin is a patch of gray called a saddle because it looks like a riding saddle. An orca's body is cylindrical and tapers at each end to form a hydrodynamic shape. This shape, along with the orca's large size and strength, makes it among the fastest marine animals, able to reach speed in excess of 30 knots, about 34 miles per hour, or 56 kilometers per hour. Orcas have massive teeth, which can grow up to 4 inches, 10 centimeters long. If you've liked this video so far, I invite you to stay until the end so you will discover things about the great rivalry between these whales and the great white sharks. They're at the top of the food chain and have very diverse diets, feasting on fish, penguins, and marine animals such as seals, sea lions, and even whales. They are known to grab seals right off the ice. They also eat fish, squid, and seabirds, and they are the only animal known to predate on great white sharks. Orcas hunt in deadly pods, family groups of up to 40 individuals. There appear to be both resident and transient pod populations of orcas. These different groups may prey on different animals and use different techniques to catch them. Resident pods tend to prefer fish, while transient pods target marine mammals. All pods use effective, cooperative hunting techniques that some liken to the behavior of wolf packs. Although wild killer whales do not intentionally harm people, they have attacked boats. There were many reports, beginning in the summer of 2020, of orcas ramming into and causing damage to sailing boats off the coast of Spain and Portugal. Three juvenile male orcas were involved in most of the attacks, and marine biologists investigating the incidents believe that the young males were playing with the boats by targeting the rudders and pushing the boats around. Orcas are the most cosmopolitan of all cetaceans and, after humans, are the most widely ranging mammal species on the planet. They are found throughout the world's oceans, from tropical to polar waters, though they are most common in cool, high-latitude waters where there's a high level of marine productivity. Depending on the population, orcas can be found from the surf zone to the open sea. Neither water temperature nor depth seem to have an impact on their range. Orcas are not strictly diurnal or nocturnal. Instead, they follow the activity of their prey, and in some cases, this may involve actively foraging at night. In fact, foraging, socializing, and traveling can all take place at any time of the day or night. Orcas rest when they're tired, rather than following a specific daily routine. Female orcas give birth to a single calf, which they nurse for at least 12 months. Adults teach the calves the skills they need to hunt and to interact with other orcas. They show them the best feeding and breeding grounds and migration routes. Knowledge is passed down from one generation to the next, and this orca culture can vary greatly between different populations. Orcas stay with their mothers even when they reach adulthood. Orcas are highly social and they have complex social structures. The eldest female orca or matriarch leads the pod and decides when and where they will feed. A pod is made up of a mixture of males, 
females and calves of varying ages. They swim together, share their prey, and rarely leave the pond for more than a few hours at a time. Orcas demonstrate a variety of different behaviors, including breaching, porpoising, and spy hopping. They rarely show aggression to one another and are known to take care of old and sick individuals in their pond. When the orcas appear, the great white sharks fall off the map. But why? A new study shows that white sharks will flee their hunting grounds and won't return for up to a year when killer whales pass by. It's pretty much common wisdom that the top predator in the ocean is the great white shark. But a new study reveals that the massive shark is not the ocean's top apex predator. That title rightly belongs to orcas, also known as killer whales. Over the years, studies noticed that when killer whales entered the scene, the sharks made an exit and in many cases did not return for months. In particular, in 2009, the team radio tagged 17 sharks around Southeast Farallon Island in Greater Farallon's National Marine Sanctuary, a marine and wildlife refuge off the coast of California. The sharks happily munched on young elephant seals in the waters around the island, which they regularly do between September and December. But when a pod of orcas entered the waters for just a couple of hours, the sharks hightailed it out of there and most didn't return that season. After more research, what they found was a standard pattern. When orca whales entered the area, the sharks bolted from Southeast Farallon and nearby islands. So, why are the sharks, which can grow up to 18 feet long, so afraid of orcas? Young reports that most of what we know about white sharks slash orca encounters doesn't end well for the sharks. In 1997, during the first interaction ever recorded, fishermen near Southeast Farallon witnessed a pair of orcas kill a young great white that tried to nose in on the sea lion they were eating. The orcas bashed him to death, then ate his liver. In 2017, five corpses of great white sharks washed up on the beaches of South Africa, all with their livers almost surgically removed. It was the work of orcas, which killed the sharks then make a wound near the calorie-dense shark liver. They then squish the yummy treat out of the shark and leave the rest of the corpse. Researchers are beginning to understand how the instinct to avoid predators creates a landscape of fear and can have wide-ranging impacts on ecosystems. This new study shows that the concept also applies in the oceans. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, and I also recommend you to hit the bell button so you'll receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much.